Well, let's preview the 4A State Golf Championships, which will be in beautiful Jackson, Wyoming, as they'll play at two different courses on Friday and Saturday. And I'm visiting with the head coach of the Jackson Bronx. That's Ryan Allen. Ryan, thanks for taking a little bit of time to visit with me about this. But first of all, playing at two different courses, you don't often see that at state championships. What was kind of the decision behind that? Yeah, the decision behind that was, you know, basically it came down to getting access to golf courses here. And, you know, we've always wanted to host. Um, this would be the first time we've ever hosted state championship golf here in Jackson. And we were able to get these golf courses to let us use their golf course for one day versus, you know, having to ask a, a course for, you know, access for two days. So that was kind of the reason behind splitting it up and doing uh, two different golf courses. Talk about uh, what these kids are going to face on Friday. Let's begin at Snake River Sporting Club. What, what is that venue like? How would you describe it? How do you think it'll be set up for these kids? You know, Snake River Sporting Club is, uh, you know, awesome golf course, Tom Weisshoff design. It is, you know, right on the Snake River. you got kind of two different nines there, the, where the front nine is down, kind of down in the woods, you know, a lot of tree line golf shots. And then as you come off number 9T and head over to 10T, you kind of open up into, you know, more of a link style golf course where there's not very much trees. And they'll probably face a little bit of wind. Wind usually blows down there. You know, it's going to be, you know, some big undulating green. The golf course is in amazing shape. You know, they, they really take really good care of their golf course, and you know, we're very excited to uh, get the kids down there. Some of the kids on this side of the state have seen it before, so we're, uh, it's going to be a tough, tough challenge. It's a, very, it's a challenging golf course. You know, in the past few, uh, in this past year, they've gone through a renovation where they've kind of gone through and they've chopped down a lot of the really tall fescue rock, okay. which makes it a little bit easier to play, okay. but it's still a, uh, it's a challenging uh, venue. Well, then you transition and go from Snake River to Shooting Star over in Teton Village. Describe that course and how it kind of uh, the, the golfers will have to approach it. It's a, it's a little bit of a different challenge with Shooting Star. Um, you know, it's built about 10 years ago right there in, the, in Teton Village. You know, you have backdrop of the you know, Jacksonville Mountain Resort. And, you know, right there, it's, it's an amazing golf course, um, some elevated greens some fairways, um, so some uphill tee shots, downhill tee shots, you know, really undulating greens that have some really cool slopes to them. You know, and you're talking about another golf course that is in immaculate condition. You know, there's maybe not a blade of grass out of place out there either. I mean, it is a really, really unbelievable track that's ranked, you know, both these golf courses are ranked very highly in national rankings as far as, you know, conditions and things. And, you know, mm -hmm. Shooting Star is one of the best in the country. And it's, it's ranked number one in the state for a reason. And, and Sporting Club is number two in the state for a reason. I mean, they're really good tracks. And we're, we're very grateful for these golf courses to give us the opportunity to host. And uh, I'm very excited for you know, the kids in the to come play them and see them. Well, let's talk about 4A this year. Obviously, you got both defending champions that are back. Uh, Samantha Spielman from Sheridan, Jackson McLaren from Laramie, Thunder Basin, uh, uh, just kind of got past your girls last year, and the, and the Sheridan boys just kind of got past your boys last year. I guess, how would you kind of handicap 4A golf going into the state championship weekend, just from your perspective, Ryan? You know, from my perspective, we'll start with the girls. And I, I would say, you know, the girls, Kaylee uh, over at Sheridan has done a great job, the girls team and boys team. And, you know, the girls, are, in my opinion, are probably the favorite, uh, the Sheridan girls. With Kelly Walsh girls right there with them. You know, our Kelly Walsh girls won the uh, 4A West the other day pretty handily. Uh, last week in Evanston, but, you know, the Sheridan girls, you know, they have Sam uh, being the number one player. She's probably the number one player in the state. She's defending state champion, and I know she'll be prepared and ready to go for this you know, contest this weekend. So I, I would bring it down to probably those two teams as far as, you know, the, the top two competitors for the girls. And then we switch over to the boys, and, you know, I'm looking at right now at qualifying scores for the boys, and I know we played on two different golf courses where they played down in – Cheyenne and we played in Evanston but you know within the top four qualifying team scores it was only a six shot separation there you know our boys ended up losing to Kelly Walsh by two shots and it looks like the central boys beat the Sheridan boys by four shots so it's gonna be a tight match you know it's uh it's kind of it's what you want you want to you want to play against the best and you want to play in their competition and you know see how, how the shots fall over two days on two fantastic golf courses so it's uh you know, this, this boys matchup looks like it's you know a four to five team race to see you know who's gonna who's gonna hold the trophy on Saturday. 
Well, it certainly shapes up to be a, a great uh, couple days. Looks like the weather is going to hold out for you. Maybe a little bit breezy, as you kind of mentioned. The kids will have to face the wind. But, hey, when do you not face the wind golfing in Wyoming? Ryan, thanks so much for your time and, and kind of handicapping 4 a State Golf in Jackson. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, we look forward to hosting it. It's going to be a fun time.